Hello Aquarius, welcome to 811 Moon. I'm Amy and this is your April 2021 Their Current Feelings read for you Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Their Current Feelings. We're using the Romance Angels to get us started off. Please click the like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when I go live, Aquarius. Thanks so much for being here. I can't believe it's April already. Let's see. Their current feelings. For Aquarius. Let's get something out of here. Romancing. Oh, there we go. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, we do have some holidays coming up, guys. So let's see what this is all about. I have a feeling, though, that this is the start of blossoming. I feel like this is a blossoming of a relationship, Aquarius. I feel as though it is blossoming. Early stages. I'd love to say you're going to Venice. Look at that beautiful picture of Venice. But I feel as though that's what this is about, is a blossoming relationship. Let's see. Their current feelings for Aquarius. What do we have? Whoa. Okay, that's a lot. Um, am I going to take them? Or I think I'm going to put all this back in. Because it looks like you guys have got a lot going on with all those cards to fall out. So let's see. Aquarius. Their current feelings for Aquarius. Their current feelings for Aquarius. Oh, there we go. There's one. Let's get three, please. Two, three. Well, there may be some traveling. I could be wrong. Okay. First of all, I, I really feel, um, I think it went like this, right? So this person is slow to come forward um, with this relationship, but they're picking up some speed, but they feel like you might have been deceptive, Aquarius. And I feel like you've got some fast communication with them coming and they're feeling like they need to communicate with you. I think things started off slow. Then they felt it. Maybe you weren't giving off the right signals or signs or you were appearing to be something that you weren't. I don't know, something like that. They're feeling, they're feeling a little betrayed. Let's see. And there's going to be some fast communication from someone here. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for their current feelings. Who are we talking about here? Oh, okay. Four of Wands to clarify the Eight of Wands. Could be someone that you were married to. Oh my gosh, I'm confused, Aquarius. Could be somebody you were married to. I'm getting confused energy. Um, okay, let's just go with it. I feel like the story's changing. Oh, there we go. Some heartbreak. That was on the bottom, guys. Uh, the Three of Swords. So I feel like this is a third-party energy. I feel like you may... Um, they, whoever this is... Is feeling betrayed because... You started with somebody new. You got someone new. You could have been married to this person or in a long... With this four been in a long-term relationship with them and they're gonna come forward and be like what are you doing who are you with or they want to know I feel like they want to know but I feel like they weren't giving you the time of day before and now this person now that you've got some bliss or happiness or someone they are going to give you a hard time let's see how they're feeling yeah so this is the king. Uh, this is the king of cups. This is very emotional. This is a lot of deep, deep hurts, emotional, third party confusion. I feel a lot of confusion in this reading, Aquarius. I feel a lot of confused energy. Like people don't know which way to go. They're not sure. How to approach this, which way to go. That's what I'm getting. And it started off slow. There was some deceit on, uh, you know, they or they think you were deceitful. I don't know if you were. They think you were. 
because this is their feelings and now they're going to come forward and i feel like this communication isn't going to be pretty for some reason I mean, just be on the lookout be ready yeah eight of swords someone's in their head about you aquarius this person is feeling trapped feeling that they are they're in their head they don't know which way to go i really feel like i feel like the like there's mice running in in a, in a maze and each mouse can't catch each other like they can't get on the same page they can't get into the same spot in the maze but everyone's trying to reach the exit i don't know i got that image in my head it's like a mouse trap whatever they call that mouse trap okay what else do we have here how they're feeling they feel like they're in a cat and mouse game that's how they feel and they are really focused on it because there's other things that are very positive in their life but they are focused on what you're doing and there's some kind of missed opportunity here with this card was it a missed opportunity for communication to find out truths to not be so in their head or think of or, or think the worst like with this the seven three and eight were they thinking the worst so now they're in the stuck in their head I, I really feel like that what else do we have here for how they feel about aquarius this is, this is a weird reading I think you just want to move on with your new person this this one wants to pop and oh yeah what i just say i think you want to move on with your new person and you do you want your ten of pentacles you want your honeymoon you want this bliss of being together with this new person this all the little perks that go along with new romance and new love but this is blocking it this person the way they feel about you and how things went down they're feeling not so good and they really have you in their head what else does Aquarius need to know whoa okay so this energy is hung up and I feel like it's this communication I think when that communication happens this is gonna blow this hangman up uh, and gonna reveal some wisdom this was on the bottom of the deck uh, the the hermit the Virgo card I think this is this lot of um sorry guys uh a lot of wisdom information is going to be revealed with this hermit anything else aquarius needs to know about their current feelings healing the past i feel i don't have this he there's not a healing card on here i didn't pull a healing card but I feel like that's what this card represents, though. With that wisdom will come healing the past. And that card, the six, represents the past. Wow, Aquarius. Anything else before I pull on the other ones? Anything else? Yeah, I feel that's... Oh, here we go. The High Priestess. Yeah, more wisdom, more knowledge, more hidden things are going to be revealed, Aquarius. You're going to find out stuff that you didn't realize, that you didn't understand or had no inkling about with this person. It doesn't have anything to do with this person. And I feel that strongly. I think this person and this person, two different people. So this is, so this is, I want to pull a couple of cards on this because I think this is your current state, Aquarius, where you found some kind of new interest love interest someone who's interested in you you're interested in them you want to see where it goes and this is the past this is someone that's you've left or they've left you or you don't want anything to do with anymore uh and this could have been a third party energy this person could have had somebody else or something but it's it's all mixed up and ugly and very confusing i feel like there's a lot of people a lot of players on the board in this mousetrap me okay what do we have for Aquarius with this honeymoon and Ten of Pentacles? This new person. This blissful new relationship that's more solid. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune fell out. And this fell out. 
I'm gonna put that over here on this whole new energy. Uh, this is about you spinning the wheel, Aquarius, and getting out of this mouse trap and coming into the wheel here where you can spin it with this person and have you know this Ten of Pentacles energy, have this newness, have this fun for April, really enjoy April. With this five, I think what's gonna happen is this person with this quick communication who you may have been in a, in a relationship with, married to, or lived with, or something. Third party was involved too. There was multiple people, multiple drama, multiple head games, and they might try to sabotage. See how they, they this person's kind of taking the swords here? And somebody's taking swords there. This person, I feel, uh, on this side will try to sabotage. Anything else you can tell me about this five? Of swords come on oh there we go yeah I feel like they want to um, go after your you know this is the Empress represents Venus and love and I feel as though they could be a baby mama situation for some of you or it has nothing to do with baby mama it has to do with this person here or one of these people in this mousetrap game <laughs> trying to sabotage your uh, happiness with this person. And that would be you. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. All energies are interchangeable and all energy, whatever I'm saying, could be reversed. It could be you doing this or someone, you know, or they're doing it to you. Anything else? Anything else for this new person over here? This Ten of Pentacles and stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, could be another air sign. Um, no, what I'm getting, <laughs> it was like, oh, it could be an air. It could. It definitely could. But I'm feeling this is another third party here that's going to throw a wrench in the works for you, Aquarius. Um, I feel like this is this was you now this is the other third party or whoever's in this mix of garbage over here whatever's happening whatever this drama is whatever this Dr jerry springer show is here um is trying is going to try to throw a wrench in the works for you on your thing here on your new your new adventure your new honey your new blissful time new relationship happiness you know that all the all the fun great energy that goes along with a new relationship they're gonna try to sabotage oh Aquarius I wish I had a better reading for you but I hope this was I hope this reading is able to shed some light on what might be going on behind the scenes and not to worry about it because I feel like you're just gonna be really blissful and happy with that ten of pentacles and this honeymoon card and the wheel but just be ready for it if they come to you or be ready with you know, blocking some energy, don't allow, you know, don't allow them to come in and, and ru ruin anything for you. I think that's really what the, the message is here. If this is your story, if this has, this doesn't resonate with you at all, and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Then this isn't your, then this isn't your reading. You know, you can check out other readings on 811 Moon or other readings online that say that their current feelings. Um, I have past ones you could watch um, because they're really timeless, guys, even though us tower readers put, you know, April, March, whatever. You know, a lot of them are very timeless. So take a look at other ones if this didn't resonate. Best of luck to you, especially with this new happiness and love over here. Hopefully this Jerry Springer stuff goes to the wayside and the energy changes because this is currently what I'm seeing. And please leave a thumbs up down below if you made it to the end of the video. Please also click the like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when I go live, Aquarius. And I wish you the best. And I hope that you can show up at one of my lives and I can pull a couple of cards for you on your own situation. It doesn't have to be this situation. It could be any situation. And I could do a mini reading for you on a Sunday. Best of luck, Aquarius. Bye-bye.